Hey guys, Quentin Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here with another video, and yeah. This time, it's not a Wheel of Fortune video or Jeopardy or anything else. I'm gonna be doing this this time. So yeah, um, remember when I did the video on Chevy Trucks S-Series pickup? Back in May, I believe? Well, since, well, since I eventually had done that last month, this month we're gonna be playing this tape on this one. This is Blazer. So, um, I obviously had known that this is from 1995 because yeah, that S series was from 1995 that I had. This is also from 1995, so. This tape video I'm going to be doing, it's sponsored by Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Anyway, um, yes, I have a new record player. I'm showing you it for the first time in this video. This is a loop tone record player. It could play records, CDs, and it can also play cassettes. You can also record them on there, too. I can't believe I have something like that. So anyway, we're just going to try to play this tape on here. I've played the S-Series pickup tape on my Art and Sound record player. But yeah, I don't have that Art and Sound record player anymore. So yeah. It's got the same text design right here for ink. So we're going to put this tape in and see how it's going to do. So before we do that, let's just try to get this set up. And um, putting it in. Yep. It obviously goes in there pretty well. I don't know, but... We'll try to test it soon. But anyway, um, yeah, I've played some tapes and I've recorded some before. But anyway, uh, we're not going to have this set to phono, so let's set this to tape. I've set the volume. Let's play it. I mean, it's playing good. Here it is, everybody, the Blazer tape. Congratulations on your choice of a 1995 Blazer, and welcome to the Chevrolet family. Chevrolet created the sport utility vehicle market in 1983, and with the exciting new additions and improvements for 1995, Blazer will continue to be the most dependable and longest lasting vehicle in its class. Over the next few minutes, we'll discuss the features and controls that have made Blazer such an exciting vehicle and an excellent value. For more detailed explanations, please see your owner's manual. Now, let's get started. Aerodynamic styling helps improve fuel economy, and extra sound deadening insulation contributes to a quiet, relaxing ride. Superior underbody and underhood rust and corrosion protection, and a base coat clear coat paint treatment will help keep your blazer looking showroom new. The standard solar ray tinted glass reduces glare and helps keep the interior cool in sunlight. Your engine will provide exceptional performance. The standard 4.3 liter six cylinder engine is both powerful and fuel efficient. This 190 horsepower central port fuel injected engine delivers confidence starting and smooth acceleration in any type of weather. Whether you have a Blazer with a standard electronic 4-speed automatic transmission or a 2-door model with the optional 5-speed manual transmission with overdrive, you'll enjoy smooth, responsive shifting. Blazer's standard power anti-lock front disc rear drum brakes provide sure-footed stopping power that lets you steer under severe braking conditions. The anti-lock brake system includes special diagnostic features. With an ABS system, it is no longer necessary to pump the brakes in an emergency situation. Just hold the brake pedal down and let the anti-lock brakes work for you. You will feel the brake pedal vibrate or buzz. Also during an emergency stop, the ABS control unit under the hood will emit a groaning noise, and the wheels will make a loud chirping noise. These are all signs that your ABS system has been activated and is working properly. We recommend that when you leave your blazer, place the manual transmission in reverse or the automatic transmission in park. Then set the parking brake located to the left of the brake pedal. To disengage the parking brake, use the release at the lower left side of the instrument panel. 
As a special note, if you have the four-wheel drive system, never leave the transfer case in the neutral position when parked, since the vehicle could still roll even though the automatic transmission is in park or the manual transmission is in reverse. Section 4 in your owner's manual offers additional information on parking and leaving your vehicle. Blazer has been engineered with a selection of suspension packages to ensure that your Blazer has the ride and handling you want. Under the hood, Blazer is also designed for your convenience. To open the hood, pull the release lever below the left-hand side of the instrument panel. Then go to the front of the vehicle and open the hood using the secondary release, just right of center on the driver's side. Use the prop rod at the front of the engine compartment to hold the hood open. You will see that routine maintenance is made convenient with well-marked and easily accessible locations under the hood. Items which should be checked regularly include the engine oil, automatic transmission fluid, brake fluid, coolant, power steering fluid, air filter and windshield washer fluid. For more detailed information on checking these fluids and other self-maintenance procedures, read sections 6 and 7 in your owner's manual. Inside, Blazer has three-point passive front lap and shoulder belts for all outboard passengers and lap belts for center passengers. The rear outboard positions on four-door Blazers feature lap and shoulder belts with child comfort guides. The child comfort guide may be adjusted to hold the shoulder belt in a position comfortable for the passenger. To help protect your most precious cargo, child security door locks come standard on all four-door models. This feature allows you to lock the rear doors so that they can't be opened from the inside. For your convenience, a new single two-sided key opens all doors, rear hatch, and the ignition switch. A driver's side facial airbag is standard on your Blazer. The airbag is located in the middle of the steering wheel and will inflate in moderate to severe frontal or near frontal crashes only. It's designed to supplement the protection of a properly adjusted safety belt, which you should wear at all times when traveling in your blazer. The airbag is not designed to inflate in rollovers, side impacts, or rear impacts. Upon activation, you may hear a very loud sound as the airbag inflates and deflates. This will all happen in about the time it takes you to blink an eye. The deflated bag will not obstruct your visibility. Blazer offers a host of standard interior features to make driving comfortable and to reduce fatigue. Extra acoustical insulation in the dash panel, doors, floor, and under the hood contribute to a quiet, relaxing ride. Look around the interior and you'll notice everything from the seats to the instrumentation has been designed with your comfort and convenience in mind. Blazers equipped with split bench seats have a center armrest and two cup holders located on the front of the seat. Just squeeze the latch at the front of the cup holder and pull it straight out. The liner removes for easy cleaning and is dishwasher safe. Additional two cup depressions are provided in the glove box door. Reclining front seats provide maximum comfort and support to adjust the angle of your seat back, lift the lever on the outboard side of your seat near the floor. Move the seat to the position you want and release the lever. To move your manual front seat forward or back, pull the lever at the front outboard side of the cushion to the side, move the seat into position and release the lever. A standard manual lumbar adjustment is featured on blazers with bucket seats. The knob is located on the outboard side of the driver and passenger bucket seats. If you have the deluxe power driver's seat, the controls are located on the left side of the seat base. To lower the split folding rear seats, locate the handles in the upper center of the seat backs. Push back on the seat backs as you pull up on the handles. Pull the seat back forward and down until it latches in the down position. With the rear seats folded, you have a length of almost 48 inches on two-door models and about 58 inches on four-door models. When you fold the seat back up, Release the seat back latch and be sure it locks into place. Additional convenient storage pockets have been added in the front doors. Four-door models include rear door storage pockets. A full-size spare tire is standard on all blazers. The tire is mounted on the driver's side rear wall panel on two-door models and under the body on four-door models. The jacking equipment is neatly stored in a compartment in the driver's side rear wall panel. 
Your carpet, floor mats, cloth seats, and cloth door panels have been treated with Scotchgard fabric protector. This makes food spills and other messes a lot easier to clean up and helps your interior look new longer. If your blazer is equipped with the optional cargo security shade, just grab the handle and pull the shade to unroll it and latch the posts into the slots on the right inside trim panel. Lasers equipped with the optional overhead console package have reading lights in the console. They can be turned on and off by pressing in on the button by each light. The lights can also be swiveled to point in the direction you want. There are also two storage compartments, which can be used to store small items, like your sunglasses, and a compartment for your garage door opener. Also included in this package are an electric compass, outside temperature gauge, and overhead light. If you have power windows, the controls are on each of the side doors. The driver's window has an express down feature. To lower the driver's window all the way, you only need to push the control once, and you don't need to hold it down. To stop the window partway, press the control up briefly. Four-door vehicles have a lockout feature on the driver's door to prevent passengers from operating the power windows. The headlights and taillights are operated by pushing the switches to the left of the instrument cluster. High and low beams of the headlights are controlled by pulling the turn signal lever toward you until it clicks, then releasing it. The wheel to the right of the light switches controls the intensity of the instrument panel lights when the parking lights or headlights are illuminated. Turn the dial up to brighten the instrument panel lights. By turning the dial up or down, you can vary the brightness of your backlit instruments. Turn the dial all the way up to turn on your interior lights. The optional fog lamp switch is located under the headlight switch. Refer to section 2 in the owner's manual for additional information on lighting features and controls. The turn signal lever also controls the operation of the windshield wipers and washers. The delay wipers allow you to vary the time interval between wiper sweeps for as long as 16 seconds. Once the wipers are on, turning the delay control band away from you controls the amount of wiper delay. The closer the wiper control band is to the low position, the more often the wipers will move. The low and high positions provide continuous wiper action while pushing the paddle on the turn signal lever engages the windshield washers. For continual washing, you must push and hold the paddle down. When you release the paddle, the washers will stop. For a single wiping cycle, turn the wiper band toward you to mist, then release the band. Blazer's instrument panel has easy to read gauges with soft backlighting, so your eyes won't get tired during long drives. At the center of your gauges is a speedometer. Inside the speedometer is an odometer and trip odometer. The optional tachometer is located to the right of the speedometer. It shows the engine speed in revolutions per minute. Your instruments also include several smaller gauges and warning lights. The engine temperature gauge lets you know if your engine temperature is too high if the gauge pointer moves into the red area. There are also gauges which let you know if there is a problem with your charging system or engine oil pressure. The warning zone on these gauges is also marked by a red area on the gauge. Your fuel gauge shows the relative amount of fuel in your tank. Remember, the engine must be running for the readings to be accurate. Other warning and reminder lights include a service engine soon light, a seatbelt reminder, a brake light, an anti-lock brake light, and a supplemental restraint system light. Most of these lights come on momentarily when you start your car to let you know they're working and are not cause for concern. If one comes on and stays on while you're driving, consult your owner's manual for more information or see your dealer as soon as possible. Your Blazer is equipped with an onboard computer which monitors the operation of the emission control system. This system is called OBD2 or Onboard Diagnostics Second Generation and is intended to assure that emissions are at acceptable levels for the life of the vehicle, helping to produce a cleaner environment. The service engine soon light comes on to indicate when service is required. This system will anticipate component deterioration or other problems before a failure actually occurs, which may prevent serious damage to your vehicle. It is also designed to assist your service technician in correctly diagnosing any malfunction.
For your convenience and accessibility, the fuse panel is located on the side of the instrument panel on the driver's side. Fuse locations are illustrated in section 6 of the owner's manual. Your heating air conditioning controls help you maintain a comfortable interior temperature. The knob on the right sets fan speed. The upper knob controls the temperature of air from the vents. Move the knob to the red and you'll get warmer temperatures, to the blue for cooler air. The standard air conditioning on all 1995 Blazers uses non-CFC R134A refrigerant. You can turn on the air conditioning for cooled air by rotating the lower knob to max AC, norm AC, or bi-level AC, and rotating the temperature select knob to the blue area. When the control is in the max AC position, interior conditioned air is blended with a small amount of outside air and distributed through the instrument panel outlets. This provides maximum cooling, except on hot days when the temperature inside the car is higher than the outside temperature. On these days, begin cooling in the norm AC or bi-level AC positions and switch to max AC later. When the control is in the norm AC position, outside air is conditioned and directed through the instrument panel outlets. When the bi-level AC position is selected, outside air is conditioned and directed through the heater, defogger, and instrument panel outlets. When the vent position is selected, outside air is directed through the instrument panel vents. When the heat position is selected, heated air comes out through the heater floor vents. The blend position directs outside air through the heater floor vents and the windshield defroster vents. When the defrost position is selected, outside air is conditioned and directed through the defogger outlets. For increased rear seat comfort, we've added rear heater ducts which help distribute heat evenly throughout your blazer's interior. This feature helps to keep rear seat passengers comfortable. Your glove box contains a leatherette portfolio with your owner's manual and maintenance schedule, the warranty and assistance information booklet, and the tire warranty booklet. To fully enjoy and preserve the investment in your new automobile, please read all of the information supplied in your portfolio. Included in your portfolio is information about Chevrolet Geo Roadside Assistance, which gives you access to roadside help 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Calling 1-800-CHEV-USA connects you with the Roadside Assistance Center, where highly trained advisors will help solve your problem. If your problem cannot be resolved over the telephone, a roadside advisor can coordinate a variety of quality services through Chevrolet's dealer network and their preferred service providers. Available services include towing, key cutting, and car rental, among others. We would like to remind you that on side two of this tape, you'll find additional information and operational tips about the special options you may have purchased to customize your new blazer. It also includes information on the use of child restraint devices. Okay, that is side one for you guys out there, so... Yeah, um, there is no silence at the end after all that, so, yeah. Alright, um, we will do side two in the next video. But anyway, guys, that's about it for the video on the Chevy Trucks Blazer demonstration tape for side one. Side 2 is coming up next, so stay tuned. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Peace out.